Hello, it's Family Driver. Welcome to another video. I'm going to keep this intro very short. Today, I'm reviewing my new modified exhaust. So let's start now. So the plan is to take it to my mate to Leeds, uh, he will help me with uh, filming some drive-bys, it should be exciting, all the pops and bangs, well now you will be able to hear them more, that's for sure, that's a nice Ferrari. So on my way there I will be on the B roads, I will be on the motorway, so this will give me an opportunity to talk about how this exhaust behaves in different modes and in different environments. So I had it on the car for over a week now and I've done about 200 miles. So I um, had it on motorway, I had it in town, I had it on B roads. So I have pretty good idea by now on how it is to live uh, with this exhaust on a daily basis. So let's start with the elephant in the room. I found this exhaust to drone a bit. Uh, there is a rev range between two and a half and three thousand RPMs, which I'm going to enter now, which uh, drones a bit. It's not an overkill. I thought at the beginning it will be just too much, but I think because the exhaust were, was virtually new um, when it was modif modified, so uh, maybe it just needed a couple of miles to adjust. However, it's not too bad actually now, uh, after a week. Uh, maybe it's just my ears which got used to it. Yes, I think it's still a bit too much for my liking, but I don't think it would be no-go for most of the people. So I'm now actually in that drone range and driving normally, you can't really hear it. Uh, when I push it, now, that, that was it, when you run it, then you can hear the drone. Otherwise, um, through the rev range, it's actually not too bad. I'm now at 1800 RPMs, foot to the floor in comfort, it picks up, but it's not droning. You see, when you're accelerating faster, I went through that range and I didn't really pick up on any drone. I think it's when you literally going through the revs quite slow and under load, then the car starts, the, the exhaust starts droning. But again, I would say uh, it's not something you can't live with. Um, I thought it will be no go to me and and after a couple of days, I think it is absolutely fine. Maybe you adjust your driving style a bit as well. So you kind of avoid that range. But for me, um, it's not a big of an issue at the moment. So we are going through the town. Uh, so I was in comfort uh, up till now. I'm going to Sport Plus because the car is warmer now. I'm going to drop the windows and I'm going to let you listen how it sounds with the windows down. plus now cruising at 55 60 miles uh, per hour and as you can hear or not hear there isn't really any drone anymore so it's um, it's slightly louder than the normal exhaust um, but it's not that difficult to live with so if you are on the B roads most of the time or in the town when you like to show off a bit uh, you know, this exhaust really gives you what you need for a fraction of price of the new M Performance exhaust, even the, a used exhaust, really. Um, the MPE has very distinctive sound, which I absolutely love. I have to, I have to say that if I could, I would buy an MPE 
and that's purely for the sound. It sounds very much like my M135i was, very raspy and I really do like that. Um, however, it's the price. Um, two and a half grand for a new exhaust is it, just ridiculous and um, even though and even used ones, uh, they tend to go for about 1100 pounds, um, some of them even more. So it is difficult to really justify because the MPE actually doesn't save you much in terms of weight. It's only about two and a half kilograms difference uh, between standard exhaust and MPE. Uh, in terms of power, you get nothing. Um, so you're paying really for change in the tone and for much louder exhaust when you open the valves, which isn't legal on the road. Also, many of them suffer from cracks and suffer from vibrations during cold starts, which are really annoying because I I heard one and, and it is a bit annoying. So every time you start your car, you can hear like metallic vibration for a couple of seconds, which can be really, really annoying. Anyway, we are back in town. I'm going to drop my windows and let you to listen the exhaust between the buildings. Yeah, there is definitely that drone between two and a half and three thousand but again it's it's not that bad anymore i think the exhaust really needed to be used i also realized during that week that when the car warms up properly and the exhaust is warm um, the drone tends to almost disappear it's it's quieter So the next thing we're going to test is motorway. I'm going to be on the motorway in a moment and we'll see if the car will drone on the cruise control when I'm just cruising 70 miles per hour. This is quite important, especially for people who are on motorway quite a lot. I'm not, but I wouldn't like to have a car which drones too much when I'm on on the motorway because for example when I drive to Scotland or if I'm gonna go to Europe next year go to Alps I don't want to sit in a car which annoys me for 24 hours for example motorway Right, so I'm going to drop it into comfort mode. I'm doing about 55 miles per hour now. I'm going to accelerate and we're gonna go through some revs and see how it sounds. So I'm on a cruise control now. I'm doing 60 miles, 63 miles per hour. I'm on 2400 RPMs. So I'm just below the rev range which I identify as a drone range. I'm just waiting for the cars to let me go quicker. Let's speed up now. And we will go up the hill now. You see, there is a bit of drone. I can hear. And I guess some people might find this annoying. I don't particularly like it. I would prefer for this drone not to be there. But it is there. So I guess, you know, there are drawbacks. Um, it sounds quite good uh, when you're in town, when you're on a B road, when you're not sitting on, in a particular rev range all the time. I think that's where even the standard exhaust, actually I said the standard exhaust on M2 drones a bit at certain rev ranges. Luckily, I think they are about 18 to 2100 rpms and then 
about 3200 to 3400 so these are the rev ranges you don't really use in manual on the motorway that often so it's really up for you to judge um, obviously you can hear how it sounds and so hopefully this video will actually let you make some decisions um, educated decisions before you actually commit to buy so next I'm going to do a couple of dry buys and some revs and then I'm going to head to the tunnels <laughs> to say this exhaust is so entertaining when you just want to have fun so I've spent a bit more time with Dom uh, having a nice chat uh, driving our cars uh, through that short tunnel so it's getting a bit late and it just started to rain so there's no point for me to go to Leeds to drive through longer tunnels they are usually busy and a bit noisy so I think the videos from this tunnel are probably much better and you could hear in these videos that the car sounds actually quite ridiculous the pops and bangs are quite pronounced it really does sound fun and I have to say if that's what's on your mind if you want just to have fun with the exhaust you want to hear it when you floor it lifting it off I think this exhaust really works um, there are a couple of drawbacks like this drone in that specific range which might get slightly annoying on the motorway so let's do a bit of a summary on the exhaust so I think it sounds really good when you're on it I think it sounds really nice when you're having fun. Um, it's not too drony to daily it. However, you have to bear in mind that there will be a slight drone on that between two and a half and three thousand revs. Uh, if you can live with that, that's absolutely fine. So the main drawback um, really it's that drone which annoys me slightly on the motorway when you're doing around 70 miles per hour um, again everyone is different and some people are a bit more sensitive to a drone than others and 
surely there will be plenty of people out there who will say that's not an issue for me for me i think it is i think um also the fact that the cold starts are quite brutal are quite loud um i think i don't like that so actually a couple of days ago i started researching on um, the valve because i realized that when you start m2 the valve stays open which is the opposite of what m135i was doing the m135i was closing the valve when the car was over really loud this one i just don't know when it's closing uh, because it's open during cold start i can't hear any difference when i'm driving it around switching between uh, comfort and sport mode there's just no difference so i asked the question on facebook and many people confirmed the same it's because i thought my car might be broken i thought maybe the motor isn't working but that's not the case i actually used the uh, beamer link to check to manually open and close the valve and it works it works perfectly fine but as long as you switch it to auto um, it stays open pretty much all the time or all, all the time so unfortunately because of that um, you get that little bit of drone um, if that valve would be closed in comfort mode I think the problem could be potentially solved but until then until that you know somehow i can switch that the, the, i think i might be leaning towards the m performance exhaust and to be honest i never treated this modification as something permanent i thought why not to get a cheap exhaust swap it with bob um, and then sell it on and i think that's what i'm going to do going forward and i'm going to wait patiently for the mpe in the right price because what MPE has is that specific tone, it's that rasp, and I'm really after that. I think, I think it's just MPE and Remus, which are quite raspy, and I quite like that. And and I think I won't be happy with anything else. Um, this one doesn't change the characteristic much; it just makes it louder, and it's fine. It, it works perfectly uh, if you if that's what you want. I think I want something different from my exhaust. I think I want that rasp. So um, until I get MP, I think I will be going back to stock shortly. So this exhaust will land on eBay or Facebook forums. I will be selling it shortly. Um, so if you're interested, actually leave the comment, um, you know, and, and we might sort something out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this exhaust compared to the stock exhaust and uh, tell me what exhaust do you have and uh, you know what do you think maybe you have some kind of suggestions of what should i do which way should i go so um i'm looking forward to hearing from you guys so i see you in the next video thank you very much for watching please remember give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you're new and i see you in the next video thank you very much for watching again goodbye do widzenia